Hi Musers, I'm Brooke and you're watching the Muse.tv. Today I'm with Michelle Class, nail technician, and she's going to show us how to get these. So talk us through it. Okay, so today we're going to create the look that you've seen just now. To start off, a really good tip to make your polish last longer is to give them a wipe with some acetone or a nail polish remover beforehand just to remove all the oil and grease off of the nail plate. Now I'm going to apply a base coat. I'm going to use today Lumos Bottom Coat just to make that polish last longer. Now I'm going to apply CND Polish in Blueberry Whip. It's a really great colour, lilac for spring summer and it's you get a great coverage in one coat. Oh brilliant. So I've just used Blueberry Whip by CND and now I'm going to use OPI which is part of the Nicki Minaj collection. Okay, it looks quite Nicki Minaj-esque. Cool. We're going to do it in two motions. One going from the edge down to a tip and then from the other side coming back to the same tip point at the end of your nail. It's really simple, it's like doing a chevron but with a bit of a curve. Okay? okay. So don't have too much on your brush so that you don't flood it and end up with too much product on the nail. Just going to come halfway down the nail. So what's next? Next we're going to apply Essie's new colour called orange it's obvious so in the same way as we applied our green color we're going to apply the orange but leaving bringing it down the next level really we want this one just at the tip of the nail Okay, so now that we've finished our design, we're going to let it set for about a couple of minutes, not even, and then we're going to apply Lumos High Speed Top Coat. So now, Brooke, I'm going to put on some Daddy Oil, which is an amazing 95% organic oil onto your nails. It's going to, one, help feed your cuticle and the nail and you can put it on after the polish and that will help set your polish as well. So you put it on wet polish? Yeah, I'm going to put it around your cuticle. So, thank you. They look You're absolutely welcome. amazing. I'm just Enjoy doing my them. very best not to smudge them because that is a habit I have mm -hmm. of mine. Um, so, tell us what's in for spring summer. So, for spring summer, you're going to be sticking with your pastel shades like we've used on your nails, okay. but you can add the brights to it. So colour popping on nails. Colour popping, colour blocking. Um, here we've got an Essie polish called To Buy or Not To Buy. The two new Chanel ones, there's three actually, but I picked out June and May okay. from the new collection. And then these two OPI ones, which are from the Nicki Minaj collection as well. And they're great bright colours. You can do your pastels if you're not too adventurous and you're still going to be on trend. You can hit the bright colours. Or mix it up or together. Mix it up. What about autumn winter? Autumn winter, what we saw on the catwalk for autumn winter, not that you know, only a matter of weeks ago, was blues, blues and teals were huge. Okay. All across the board from um, House of Holland to Holly Fulton. And I really love this Revlon called Fashionista. Okay, that sounds good. It's a great colour. There was loads of nude colours as well. Michelle's obviously showing us a good way to kind of make it so that you are not completely washed out. Yeah, um, add a little bit of colour to your nudes. And also, there was loads of brights on the catwalk for autumn winter. The greys were out. It was bright oranges, bright pinks, bright reds even a couple of neons. Michelle, thank you so much for coming today to show us and the Muses how to create such a high fashion look. So we really, really appreciate it. Guys, if you've got any comments, just put them in the box below. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and I will see you next time.